YouTube, YouTube, what's up? Once again, welcome back to the channel. This is RC Finest hitting y'all with another video. Uh, thanks for all the subscribers who've been subscribing. Thanks for all the comments. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Um, go ahead and uh, hit that uh, subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you will be notified when I post the next video. Because I have a lot coming. Um, once again, as y'all know, I don't post videos every day. Every couple of days, I post videos every two to three weeks to a month. Because I'm doing so many builds and working on so much stuff. So with that said and done, I um, hope everyone's having a blessed day. I know I am on my day off. Just shooting a few videos, getting these out of the way. I've been holding. And I feel it's time to go ahead and get them done. Um, once again, I want to say thank you to my beautiful wife for allowing me to do what I love to do. Um, this is an expensive sport. Hobby, whatever you want to call it. So... I just thank God for me able to be able to take care of my um, home duties and to continue doing what I'd love to do. So with that said and done, once again, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notifications bell to be notified on the next vid. All right, y'all, go ahead and get on into this one, and then we're going to get y'all out the way. I know y'all time is valuable, and so is mine, so I don't hold up much of y'all time. As I always tell you guys, my videos are raw. I don't do any editing. I just show you straight from the top to the bottom. And then I get y'all on out of here. So, what you see here is a Lozy 8T. Nitro. Converted to electric. My way. Okay? And what I mean by my way, you'll see what I'm talking about once I pop the hood. So, once again, this is a Lozy 8T. Nitro. Converted to an electric. Um, what I did to the outside and I have to do much to this one. I just cleaned it up a little bit, freshened up the body. Uh, the body was in excellent shape, so I didn't have to get another body. I thought I was going to have to buy another body, but when I got it, all I did was touched up the black paint right here, wiped it down and cleaned it up. It was just dusty from him rolling with it in the uh, dirt. So I said, okay, I, I, I'll work with this body. I could work with this. As long as it's not all torn up and scratched up and... I will go ahead and get a new one, but the wing was in perfect condition. He said he only ran it about three or four times, which was correct, because once I popped up uh, the bottom up and looked at the chassis, you could tell how, how long it's been ran and how it's been ran by checking out the arms and everything else. So once again, this is a electric conversion. I'm going to show you all what I did. I'm going to get you all out of here. All right, so what I did is I put the aluminum uh, wheel nuts on there, dustproof wheel nuts. Uh, tires and everything were in good shape, no rips, no tears. All I did was just re glue them. I didn't like the glue job they had on them from, uh, I guess, when they built it from Horizon or Losi when they built it. The glue wasn't too good, so I just re glued the tires. Okay, as y'all know, the body has cutouts in it because this is for a nitro that's for the engine and that's for the pull start or whatever, or vice versa. I don't know, I'm not into the uh, to the gas and uh nitro cars so i usually do conversions um starting from the outside what i did to this one is i put a t-bone racing willy bar on it custom made that to fit t-bone racing willy bar custom made that drew my own holes marked everything out made that work works perfect okay because this does have a lot of power all right, so that's the outside. That's all I did to the outside, just a revamp, just cleaned it up. Um, I put the uh, the Arma body tethers on there to hold the body clips. As you already know, a lot of my builds have those. So let me pop that. And we'll get into the inside. And I'll get y'all on out of here, out of your way. Let me get on out of your way. All right. So like I said, the body was in excellent shape. No problem with the body. Sorry about that glare. Just revamped it, put the white on it, put some tape on the sides where the motor mount was hitting, rubbing against it. Okay. All right, y'all. So what y'all looking at is the conversion right here. So what I'm running in here is electric conversion from um, King Hobby. Bill at King Hobby. You know, I've been mentioning him a lot on my builds because I use a lot of his parts. 
He's a good guy. He helps me out. Does good pricing with me. And that's what I put in here. Um, I didn't go with the low C conversion kit or anybody else's. I wanted to do this all original. So what I had to do to this, well, first of all, let me explain what comes in his kit. You get the battery tray. You get the motor mount. You get the motor mount. Okay. You get the motor mount right here. And you get a bottom plate for the diff to rise it up off the ground for the spur gear to rise it up off the chassis. Okay. And you get this top plate that comes in his kit. The top plate. And that's it. Okay. So what comes with the other kit is you get a whole new battery tray. I mean a, a receiver box and everything servo. But as y'all see it has a double servos because when this was nitro that's what it comes with. It comes with a steering servo and it comes with the uh, uh, um, throttle servo. Okay, or brake servo, whatever. Okay, I left all that. So what I did is I adjusted this, moved it up forward, drilled new holes, moved it up forward, and kept the same setup. Okay, the only thing I had to do with this, since the spur gear was really close to the box, the receiver box, sorry about that, is I space back the motor a little bit. I use some spacers for the motor. Works awesome. No problems, not loose, nothing. Same as your regular setup. It's just my ingenuity. Y'all know how I do things. I'll make it work. And then you got your setup. No problem. Okay? Uh, thickened up the oil in the uh, center diff. Thickened up the oil in the front and rear diff. What I'm running in here is the Mama Monster um, 2 from Castle. Mama Monster 2 ESC. Soldered on my XT90s. Okay. Everything fit well. Put the switch back here on and off switch. The conversion kit went right in. No problems. Went right in. All I had to do, like I say, was drill. I moved this up. I shifted it up because of the pinion was hitting hitting the box right there, as y'all see. So I moved it up, and the, um, the shaft on the pinion was hanging out a little bit too far. So that's why I put spacers in my motor to move it back a little bit. It'll work, it works. You just have to be, you know, ingenuitive and think of these things and, and, and find out how to make it work. That's what I do. That's what I love doing about these builds, finding out how to make different things work. Okay, so I'm running the 2200 motor, Castle motor. Uh, I'm running the NTG double fans, 40 millimeter fans. Works fine for me. I'm not doing speed runs on all my cars. I got enough cars for speed runs. I just like to bash these around outside on the grass, at the park, in the streets. Okay. So that's what I did to this. Thickened up the shock oil because the springs are terrible. Put 80 weight in there. All right, and another thing what I did to this is I sanded down the whole chassis because it had a few scratches in it and it's black. Sanded down the inside and the bottom and repainted it. And I'll show you all the underside in a second. Repainted it and then cleared it. Okay, that's what I did to this. All right. Came out good, runs well. All I tried it was on 4S and it's, whew, it's very fast. As y'all can see the pinion gear in there. Um, stock spur gear. I didn't need to change that because I'm running that big pinion gear. Uh, haven't had any heat uh, heat with, haven't had any issues with heat, excuse me, as of yet. Like I say, I'm not speed running. I just bash it around and that's it. No problems with anything yet. So the conversion worked out good. I did it my way. I didn't have to buy no extra conversion kit from anybody else. I just bought the battery tray and the motor mount kit that comes with uh, uh, King Hobby's kit. And that's it. Because usually you would get all this receiver and ESC and all that. I just kept all that stock. I wanted to keep it as stock as I can. And everything else came out nice. So it was just an easy build. Um, I got rid of the nitro engine. Somebody bought that. 
they jumped right on that because it was a pretty much brand new engine and I don't really do nitro. I don't do too much of that uh, nitro and gas. I got a couple gas cars. You check out my ca uh, channel. Um, but that's it. I just kept a couple in there. I just wanted a couple on my channel. So that's it on this one, y'all. This is a low C conversion. Low C 8T converted my way. Like I said, I just shifted the, the receiver box up. I'll show y'all the bottom of it. Okay. So that's the bottom of it. Let me get out the light. Uh, not too much of a glare, you go. So that's what I did to this. Just shifted it up. Redid the holes. And that's it. Okay. Made that T-bone racing uh, really bar fit. And that's it. All you had to do is just move this up just a little bit. Just a little bit. As y'all see those two holes there. Right there. And right there. That's all I had to do. Can't even tell. Came out nice. Okay. So that's it on this one. That's the Losi. This is another one new to my channel that I wanted to get. Um, looked around for a while, couldn't find one my liking, and then I just waited. Just waited it out. You know me, I'll, I'll wait. I'm, I'm building all kind of other stuff, so I got time to wait till something come up I like and in good shape. Uh, dampening's good on everything, so. Once again, y'all. Losi 8T conversion to electric with the Mamba Monster uh, 2200 kV motor RC finest way as usual hope y'all enjoy it hope y'all like the builds I'll keep them coming once again thanks everybody for tuning into the videos we bought it 13 again thanks everybody for commenting and subscribing just thanks everybody for just you know, just giving a brother some props for what he's doing. It's all appreciated. You know, when you say nice things to good people, it makes them feel good. It's, it's, it's good for your body. It's good for your brain. It's good for your psyche. So, you know, be positive. And we'll keep it coming. Once again, thanks everybody for tuning into the videos. Thanks everybody for commenting and liking. Just another bill. Nothing, nothing major. Just something mild. Have a few more coming up. I'm gonna be shooting, so I'm gonna give y'all a little bottom look. See how it's sitting on the stance. It's raised up a little bit. That's how it looks, y'all. Brand new build. So once again, that's that T-bone Willy bar. Just make stuff work, y'all. Make it work. Make it work. Make it work. All right, y'all. I'm out of here. Thanks for tuning in. And we out.